Good afternoon, everyone. I want to share with you uh, a way that you can make your own tie-dyed tissue paper for collage and other projects using alcohol ink. I have been asked to use alcohol ink a little more and um, this is one thing I have done in the past with mine. So today I'm going to share with you how I do some of this. Okay? It is very, very easy. It, uh, it, it does require leaving it be for a while. So I'll have to show you the wet ones and then show you some open ones. Um, I'm going to use tissue paper, just the plain old tissue paper that is like um, from Dollar Tree. I mean, the dollar store. It, it's just white tissue paper. It comes all in a package. Most tissue paper that I have found has a shiny side and a matte side. And that does sort of matter. Um, it's just... If you push, put the two shiny sides together when you're starting to fold this up, what will happen is it's a little harder to get apart. So what I would suggest is use the matte side, and I'm just going to fold this up like so. And I'm just making sort of like a little package with it. Okay, and I usually just kind of fold it. I'm trying to make sure I can, you can see everything like this. Now, I'm going to play with it while it's wet. So, um, that. And then, alcohol. <sighs> they say that you need 91% alcohol to work with your alcohol inks. For this, the 70% worked very nicely. It, it It's not the same as some other projects with your alcohol. And 91% alcohol is a little bit hard to get right this instant. So if you don't have the 91%, try it out with some 70%. I keep 70% to clean glass, so um, I have a lot of that. Okay, and I just have put my alcohol in this because it's easier than trying to pour it. Well, it was working yesterday. There we go. And I'm just spraying this down and getting it nice and wet. It just, the spray bottle was just easier than pouring it out. Now, if you have to pour it out, it works just fine. Okay, so we got it nice and wet. Okay. And now, whew, do do this in a ventilated room. We're just going to put some ink on it. And I am putting a fair amount of ink on it. Mm, let's try one more color. This one ought to be pretty. Okay. Now, it doesn't bleed all the way through real well. So what I usually do is I take my ends and I fold them back this way. And I fold them back this way. And then we douse it with some more alcohol. And let's douse this side with some more alcohol. You want that paper pretty wet. And like I said, make sure you're in a ventilated room because honestly, this can, it's, it's very, very strong. Okay, so you notice it's coming through. It's not real dark in some places. Well, if it's not dark enough for you, um, add a little more ink. 
Maybe not a lot, but a little bit. Okay. Then we're just going to take our little very soppy wet package and I'm just going to fold it back up like this and I'm going to lay it aside on something that is not going to be ruined by the ink. So I use uh, freezer paper that's plastic on one side. Okay, And you don't want to mess with this until it gets pretty dry. You can open it, but it, the problem is, is that it is uh, very fragile when it's wet. Now I keep, I've just got a piece of tissue paper here, which is turning out really pretty. I just used it like a rag to clean up my craft mat. See, it just picks up all that beautiful color that was on the craft mat. Now we're going to try a different little bit of a technique. And again, I'm going to try to put the um, mat side where it gets scrunched. It doesn't really matter. And what I'm doing is just rotting this up like so. Okay. And I'm going to twist it up a little bit. Okay, and I'm just kind of twisting it into a, a shape. Okay, because I'm probably going to untwist it again. This works pretty well to pour your ink, your alcohol on it. You just want it nice and and wet. You want this tissue paper to be wet with alcohol when you start putting your ink on there. I may have to spray it a little bit. but Then we're going to try some different colors this time. And I'm just... I would suggest you pick colors that you kind of think go together. I mean, obviously, you don't want to... Um, it, alcohol ink doesn't run together the way some paints do or dyes do. But you still want to consider um, the colors that you're putting together. And once again, I'm going to just kind of take this apart, spin it around, and then see some of it didn't get um, a lot of color on it. Oops, squeeze the alcohol right out. See, got plenty of alcohol in there. Okay, that needs to go somewhere and sit, but I've got an awful lot of oranges and not a lot of green, so I'm going to add a little bit more green in here. Okay, and now once again, we need to lay this aside and let it sit to dry. And it's going to take a little while. It's not going to be dry in five minutes. I just soaked it. And see, even my cleanup paper is really pretty. Okay, we're going to do one more. And what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to wad it up. And I'm going to spin it around and twist it up into a little wadded up ball. It doesn't stay perfect, but it will when it's wet. 
Come on, pop open. And once again, this is easier just dumping it on. You really want your paper wet, otherwise it doesn't bleed. Okay. This one says cranberry. We'll see what color it really is. It's kind of a... I don't know. It's not really red. Um, now on this one, you may have to turn it over or pull it apart and wrap it up again. See, it's not, it's not bleeding through very well. So what I'm going to do is just kind of re-roll it. And it is kind of messy. And I'm going to put some more of those colors on there. And we might need to add a little more alcohol because that was a little dry. I know this looks kind of messy and you would think, oh, that's going to be such a disaster when you start pulling it apart. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside to dry. And see, it doesn't go all the way through. Every, every part's just a little bit different. Every time you do this is different. Tie-dyeing anything is always a little different. Now let's clean up this mess. Let me put some of this away just real quick so that I can show you the ones that are dry. Okay, so our first one was all folded up. And like I said, if you wait until this is dry, you won't have a lot of problems unfolding it. Um, if, you, if you try to unfold it when it's wet, the paper is fragile and it, it will give you a problem. It's, it's not hard. You can do it, but it's much easier if you wait till it's dry. And if you notice, okay, the outside, there's places that's darker. That's what happens with tie-dye anyways. So look at that yummy paper that you can use for collage. And do this slowly. Now, isn't that just beautiful? And it works real well to lay down on your pages for collage material. So that was the folded up ones. Now, one of the things about the folded up ones is you do get lines in it. Well, I kind of like that, but I wouldn't want it all the time. So that is one of the reasons why I did a couple of the other techniques, like the twisted up one. And if you notice, when you unroll it, it's going to be lighter in areas. And again, wait until this is dry before you start unrolling it. And this is, like I said, this is just dollar store tissue paper. Um, don't yank. 
you want to treat it a little bit gentle. I had twisted that up real well, so. And look at that. Isn't that beautiful right in there? And it's so simple, and it's another use for your alcohol inks. Isn't that gorgeous? It's just beautiful. I'm just, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I can't wait to use this in some collage pieces that I, in my art journals. And that, that piece, that spot right there is just yummy. And then look at this beautiful light texture. So it'll be light and dark. But that's the squashed up long to be one now and we have one more that we did and that's the all rolled up and squashed up one and I got a lot of ink on this one so there's going to be some dark places remember this one's again twisted up And the more saturated your paper is with alcohol, the more the inks will bleed through. But you do need to use enough ink to make to get it to bleed through. And isn't that just uh, yummy? I just like the twisted up pieces better for some reason. I think that they're they're more like tie-dye to me. You could, I, oh, there's another way you could do it. You could just squash it all up into a ball. Oh, we might have to try one of those. Just squashed all up into a ball. But, oh, look at that, just, just yummy. Okay guys, now, I hope that you have enjoyed this. I'm just going to leave that right there for you to look at. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial, whatever uh, craziness of mine. But I'm going to read you a quote from my 1001 Ways to Creativity and clean up this mess so that I can do something else. Um, the ones that are drying, I can't really show you right now, so... I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have some ideas for it. Um, adventure is not outside a man. It is within David Grayson. I like that. Adventure is not outside a man. It is within. Okay, guys. Go have fun. Make some art. Bye-bye.